the sixth graders of St. Anthony of Padua wish to thank the Union Bank Company of Columbus Grove for their generous local support of our edition of News 6 and the other friends of this broadcast who provided additional funding. Welcome to this week's edition of News 6. Today's program is brought to you by the 6th grade class of St. Anthony of Padua. Our school is located in the town of Columbus Grove in Putnam County. Founded in 1862, our town currently has a population of just over 2,000 people. Tea is one of the most popular beverages in the world. Here in Columbus Grove, there is a company that makes a special kind of tea called Sassafras. Reporter Adam Schrader tells us more about this brewing success story. Hi, I'm Adam Schrader. We're here at H&K, home of Pappy's Sassafras Tea. H&K products have been in business since 1964. We've only made one product, and that's Pappy's Sassafras Tea. But we started with the cooler. Well, the tea is great. It's less than one calorie and no caffeine. And that's really essential nowadays with uh, so many people with, that are on coffee and they have some type of heart problem. Um, they have to come off of caffeine. So that's one of our big selling points. Sassafras seems to be an important ingredient of this business. Sassafras comes from a tree or shrubs and it grows wild through the whole Appalachian Range. We have to wash the bark first, then we put it into our kettles, and we brew it for four hours. And then we have to um, do chilling and other processes to get our tea through the leaching process. H&K products have expanded and shipped their products to many different parts of the world. We ship our tea in, in the continental United States, actually from uh, Alaska, and then we go on down through to the Virgin Islands. We have about 50 distributors. We have shipped to Canada, Mexico, and I've shipped cases to Korea, England, and just several weeks ago, uh, I shipped two bottles to Australia. This is Adam Schrader reporting for News 6. Making dough isn't always about making a lot of money. It can also be about making a lot of pizzas. Poor Sarah Schrader took our class recently to visit a place where making pizzas is a way of life. Hi, my name is Sarah Schrader and we're here to learn about the pizza business. Kurt Schaefer is the owner and operator of the pizzeria. We got started in the pizza business uh, toward the end of my senior year in high school back in 1981. Uh, the opportunity for us to purchase a pizzeria came about and uh, we just decided to go ahead and, uh, and make the purchase with the help from our parents and uh, we've been in it ever since. We like uh, working with the kids, uh, our employees and uh, being around our customers and uh, it's, it's just a lot of good times we've had up here. We've added a lot of menu items from when we first took over. Subs, breadsticks are, are a really big seller now. Making the perfect pizza takes years of practice. Probably the hardest thing about making a good pizza is making sure the ingredients are spread out evenly all over the pizza and that the cheese is uh, to the outside of the pizzas. We cook the pizzas at a temperature of approximately 600 degrees and it takes anywhere from 7 to 10 minutes to bake a pizza. 
The pizzeria has provided pizza to Columbus Grove for 27 years. We make approximately on the average around 75 pizzas a day and for a week's time right around 550 pizzas and probably the busiest we've been in one day uh, we've made right around 200 to 220 pizzas. This is Sarah Schrader reporting for News 6. Today's Kids View question is, how will St. Anthony's computer program and the Enrichment Center benefit you? The computer lab and Enrichment Center will help me because I can access the internet. I think using the computers at the center would be fun and educational. The computers at the center will help us with the word processing. I think the computer lab will help us understand technology. I think the computer lab will help me on my science projects. I think the center will be a fun way to learn more about computers. This is our sixth grade classroom where we stay busy learning. This is our library where we come to check out books and look up information for our projects. This is where the Falcons stay in shape. In St. Anthony's Church, we pray and give thanks. At recess, this is where we hang around. Long before television and radio were around, People relied on newspapers to find out what was happening in their communities. This year, a local newspaper is celebrating 150 years of service to the Columbus Grove area. Reporter Jason Riemann explains. Hi, I'm Jason Riemann, reading all the news that is fit to print. The Putnam County Vidette has been providing our area with news for 150 years. We're a small town weekly paper and we try to stick to just local news so that the residents can read about news that's going on with them and about them. We cover anything local and newsworthy. We cover council meetings, school board meetings, anything that's going on. The Vidette newspaper actually has two front pages. Actually our paper's kind of unique. We're the Putnam County Vidette and the Pandora Times combined. The papers used to be separate, but then they merged. Um, we stick to just Columbus Grove, Vaughnsville, obviously, because the school district is, includes Vaughnsville, um, Pandora, and a little bit of Gilboa, because Kim, Pandora and Gilboa are combined, too. Mandy Lambert is the only feature reporter working on the Vidette. So the toughest thing about being the main feature writer for the paper is time conflicts. If something is going on, two things are going on at the same time. When I have a time conflict, I look at what the two things are that are going on and I decide which one I need to actually be there for. You go out and you cover your stories. Um, there's someone who proofs them and we all kind of help putting the paper all together. We paste together the stories and we lay out the ads so we know how much room we have to work with. This is Jason Riemann reporting for News 6. That's all for this edition of News 6. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in again for more news from schools around Northwest Ohio. Goodbye. The sixth graders of St. Anthony of Padua wish to thank the Union Bank Company of Columbus Grove for their generous local support of our edition of News 6 and the other friends of the